Cars and bikes are both awesome, but when they collide, ooh, not so much. On a bicycle, you're at a huge disadvantage to cars. And they're the ones who are subject to a greater injury and even death if they're involved with a crash with a motor vehicle. So here's how drivers can do their part to help keep cyclists safe. Step one, share the road. Common courtesy dictates that cars and bikes work together on the roadway. That's the safest thing for everybody. We share these roads with vulnerable users from pedestrians to bicyclists. Step two, follow the three foot law. It requires motorists give cyclists a three feet berth when they pass them on the roadway. It's essentially the length of your arm. When you give one foot of space, it can be quite scary. If you're not able to pass a cyclist by giving that three foot bubble, you have to wait till a safe opportunity presents itself. Step three, don't block bike lanes. When things like this happen, um, it can be a little scary to bicyclists. If that happens, the bicyclist ends up either on the sidewalk or out in the street with the cars, and either way is not safe. Step four, beware the A-pillar. The A-pillar here holds up our roof, but it creates a very big blind spot while you're starting to make a turn and throughout the turn, just tilt your head a little bit to look around the A-pillar. Anybody who's hiding behind it should be coming into view. Step five, minimize distractions. Not being on the phone, uh, not texting while driving. Somebody who's not paying attention to the roadway is just as dangerous to the rest of us as somebody who's driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Which leads us to step six, don't consume and drive. Impaired driving is, is dangerous, can be deadly. So we encourage you to plan for a ride home. So please, take your time, follow these tips, and you can help to make Denver's roads safer for everyone. Exercise some patience. We're all out there on the roads together. We just need to cooperate.